Hello, everybody. My name is the Sobri Boys Wali Fatsi from TBR Solution. This is the finance section. Now, let me remind you a little bit about TBR. TBR stands for the big R. The big R is our trademark. Now, the reason why I came up with that uh, trademark, let me explain a bit what is what does trademark stands for. The trademark stands for all the English words that are positive that starts with the letter R. Those are our principles. I'm talking about the words such as reading, research, relationship, reflect, review, records, uh, rena renaissance, uh, relationship, uh, resilience, you name them. All those positive R words. And I'm saying, if you want to solve your financial nature, that's what you should do. That's how I solve my financial problems. I just read books. I just did a lot of research. And I started reviewing and reflecting on my life. And I started positioning as I read and learn. And I started to put things in practice. So now, uh, and then I then committed myself to say, you know, I'm just going to make people aware. And then I wrote about four books, personal and business finance, um, just to make people aware to understand uh, how money works. And then I continue to, you know, it's a continuous uh, process with me. I learn every day, uh, whether it's television, social media, workshop, and so on. That's what I do. So that is that is that is that is what I'm doing now. We also have a YouTube channel because our YouTube channel is there to educate. That's that's my strong point. I want to educate more than anything else uh, because I'm saying the power is in education. Now, one of the projects that I'm doing because I have a number of uh, companies, I have, I've, the company is called the Big R Solution as I've already indicated. I have a debt counseling company that I do. I have financial services company that I do. I have a financial education that I provide. I have membership club where I train people about finance and business and so on. I have support group and so on. So there are a number of things that we are doing. Now, part of the, 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 the company that we have within the Big R is the Big R Financial Services, an authorized uh, financial service provider um, with uh, the, the FSCA. So in that uh, uh, financial services, I give financial product. And one of the product that I help people with is around the issue of pension. Um, I want to talk to you. In fact, I'm talking to one of my clients. There are two, in fact. Um, the other one is still struggling to log in, but hopefully you'll log in. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, he will introduce himself. This is my client uh, who resigned in August. In August, uh, end of August, he resigned. That was the last day when he got uh, his salary in August. And thereafter, he resigned, and then we then transfer the money, the money, to Alan Gray, because I work with Alan Gray. The reason why you transfer that minimizes or that made the 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 the, the penalty not to apply, because he resigned earlier than sixty. When you resign earlier than 60, will be penalized. And I've already explained the penalty. The penalty is 0.33% of each and every month from the month of, from the month when you when you resign till to uh, the, the, the date of uh, your pension date. All right, we start, remember with GPS, in, with GPF, the date is 60 years and above. Anything earlier than that, it's early retirement, all right? So when you transfer, the government recognizes the fact that you are creating your own pension. You are not going to depend on SASA because SASA takes a lot of money from the fiscals. So they encourage people like you and me who are professionals to create their own pension. So that's it. So it's wrong to say uh, people just resign and then, uh, no, no, it's, it's not that they resign, of course, but we transfer the money. So this man, his money has not yet been transferred. So I need to be clear as far as that is concerned. And then today is the 26th of December, which is a, a day after Christmas. 
So I want to share with I want him to share how did he uh, enjoy his Christmas. Uh, I'm going to allow him to introduce himself. And that day, Kitlako Bawi Tibisehore, what's your name? Your official names. And then so that people know that uh, I'm talking to who. Give me your name. Oh, oh, my name is Liso Nono Daniel Siani. All right. Uh, you have just retired. In fact, you have just resigned. Isn't it? You left the yes. department, if I'm not uh, mistaken. All right. Yes. And no. then, uh, as I have already indicated, you 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 left uh, end of August, and then no yes. salary, no income whatsoever. How have you been surviving? Let's look at Christmas. Yesterday it was Christmas in Elijah. How was the Christmas? My Christmas it was a black Christmas. I couldn't afford to buy food for my family and my extended family. And I had a financial depression. Mm. Okay, okay. So now, how do you survive in terms of meeting your day-to-day -day obligations? Are your policies paid? Uh, what's happening? Tell us more story. What what is what's happening in your life? All my policies has lapsed. Had lapsed. Have lapsed. All of them. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you sure? All of them have lapsed, or some of them have lapsed. All of them have lapsed. Is it? So did you talk to the company, the the company who are handling the policies, to tell them that they are still waiting for the money? I did talk to them, but they don't take anything from me. Okay. They said okay. they are only hmm. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next question. Um, I say you did resign and transfer your money, and then uh, so you are not getting any income from anywhere. Yes, I didn't get any money from anywhere. Hmm. I'm indebted to many people now. Now, tell me, how many children do you have? I've got three children. And my extended uh, family also, I support them. Okay. Now, um, how? I mean, how did they respond uh, when you tell them that you don't have money, your family, and your children, I, especially your children? Do they believe you when you say you don't have money? They don't, they don't believe me. Okay. So they think that you are. I feel useless. Eh? I feel useless as a man mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I. I could not provide for my family. You could not provide for your family. So yes. as you said, now you understand what Black Christmas is. So you have, yes. you have you have had a Black Christmas, and then you didn't have anything to to eat. And then uh, now tell me, are you staying in a bond house or what? Or are you paying for the car? Do you still have debts that you are paying? And what's happening with them? I'm, I'm, I'm in areas for my bond. Even the bank threatened to, uh, to repossess my house. Is that? Yes. Uh, and my family. And then, uh, if if I remember quite well, uh, uh, if I remember quite well, you phoned me that the people who are dealing with your house, they wanted yes. me to talk to them, and I spoke to them. Um, yes. And they had promised that they will come online with us. Uh, uh, they will come. They will. They will come. What you call? They, they, I, I promise. Uh, um, then they promise, in fact, that they will come online and share their story with us. But unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out. But nevertheless. So now, uh, now you did you speak to your creditors and and explain, and then what what are they saying? They say they don't they don't, care, they don't care because they they want their money. But they want their money. Hmm. Hmm. So how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel I feel bad. I feel useless hmm. as a man. Tell me. How long have you been working for the department? It's, remember, this is correctional department, correctional services department. How long have you served them? I've served for oh, 37 years. 37 years? Yes. Uh, in that 37 years, you have been contributing to GPF. 
In other words, you're loyal to GPF. And then uh, look, we don't want to blame anyone. We don't know whether it's GPF who made a mistake or is your employer. Any one of the two could have made a mistake. Remember, let me just explain the process. There are three parties involved in this process. It's you as a member, it's the employer, it's GPF. Any of the three parties can uh, make mistakes along the way. So it's important that uh, uh, the three parties play their role. You must play your part and then they must play their part. The department must also play their part, all right? And then uh, once things have blocked, uh, unfortunately, you, you have to call. Let me ask from your side, did you submit the forms on time? Uh, what happened? And then uh, there was any outstanding forms. I'm, I'm referring to application forms that were outstanding on your side, not uh, the, 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 the department side, on your side. Did you submit things on time? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. And I can even attest to that because I was helping you. Uh, I'm saying on your side, you have submitted on time. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, there could have been problem a year, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll hear. But let me tell you what I did. I wrote an email to all to all stakeholders, uh, correctional services, uh, a GPF, and then the ombuds. Remember, the ombuds is another stakeholder. I wrote them all of them email and said, um, "Look, uh, I'm gonna record this interview today, and then uh, if you guys have uh, anything to say." Uh, let me know. Um, and then uh, so that I, I bring you in, you also put your side of the story. So everybody was notified, including the ombud. And I'll tell you why this time I did not go the route of the ombud. Um, well, um, unfortunately, GPF, they say their policy that they don't talk to YouTube channels, which is fine. It's their policy. There's nothing that I can do. Um, so, uh, but that one, I asked them at long time, at some point, um, to say, I want to understand the procedure when the forms comes in, what are the time frames and all that. So I could not get, uh, uh, assistance as far as that is concerned, but it's fine. But, um, I spoke to them, uh, just on Friday, they were, they were closing. I think it was five to 12. Um, and then uh, they told me that they are opening on the 3rd of Jan. And then they said, your matter will be addressed on the 3rd of Jan. Then I said, of course, we are going ahead with the interview as planned. Uh, if there's anything that they want to share with me, they can send me an email and then I'll read their email. Uh, well, fine, there's no problem. No, that has not been done. But let me tell you the other thing that I did. I once at some point, if, if I'm not mistaken, a year ago, I once interviewed their actuarian. And I'm grateful for their actuarian to agree to that interview. That interview took an hour long, more than an hour. Uh, I was interviewing Mr. Brian Caritza. Yeah. Uh, his interview is there on our YouTube channel. Um, explaining the processes of the GPF. And he did a good job. He explained a lot of things. But when I ask for further engagement to understand in terms of the timelines, it's because I was still not clear about those uh, timelines. Because there's a whole lot of issues. There's 60 days that I'm being told about. Look, they say the department has 31 days. Once you submit the department, your, 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 your government or your, 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 the department has that one day to finalize your, your application, 31 working days. Thereafter, it goes to GPF. Or from the date of receipt, they have 60 days, 60 working days to finalize. Now with you, it was end of August, 
we are now on the 26th of December. You haven't received anything yet. All right. And then, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I must say, uh, although the person that I spoke to said I should not quote her name, of course, uh, I'll respect her view. I'll never quote her name. Uh, I must indicate they said on the 3rd they will attend it when they are open. Fine, we'll look at it. We'll watch the space very closely. And then we'll give our viewers a report if, if that has been done and then well and good. Let me tell you something that you don't know, Mr. Siale. And the viewers out there. This is not the first, first time I engage uh, um, a GPF. I've already engage uh, the ombuds. I've interviewed the ombuds. He's there on our YouTube channel. If you want to see the interview, you'll see it on our YouTube channel. And then um, I could have gone the route of the ombuds in your case. But the mm -hmm. issue was, if I go to the ombuds, the ombuds is going to tell me I still have to wait for another 60 working days. Mm -hmm. Now, my question was, if I wait for another 60 days, in your case, where are you at that time? Mm -hmm. Where will you be eating? All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let's leave it there. Let me tell you something. This is not for the first time. I had an experience before with one of mm -hmm. my clients who was working for the South African Police Service. I had an issue. I started with the South African Police Service to fight the battle of my client. I took it up again with GPF. You know, it took me three years. Hmm. And then I finally took them to the public protector. By that time, they didn't have uh, the ombuds. I took them to the public protector. I said to my hmm. client, there's nothing that we can do, two routes that we can follow. It's either we go to court, but court is expensive. You don't have money as we speak. And uh, that's one, uh, or else we go to the public protector. But you know, public protector, they have a lot of cases. So it's going to take a while. And guess what? It took us three years. Mm -hmm. The issue at hand, my client, well, there was an issue with the employer and so on. Well, fine, we took court route and then he won the case and all that. And then at some point, I think he was laid off. He stayed about 10 years or so. He was given about 600,000, all right? After being given 600,000, when they started deducting, they took about 1.8 million. I said, uh-uh, did you apply uh -huh. the duplo rule? Because if a person was owing you 600,000, and if you take 1.8, that means the interest is more than the the principal debt. Initially, mm -hmm. they refused. They were, they, they were adamant. Calculations were done correctly and so on. And then I had to take the matter to the public protector. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Finally, we won the case. They finally agreed that uh, a mistake was done. Miscalculation was done. Then they had to mm -hmm. pay my client, I think it's about 3 million or so extra. He got a million. But you know what? Hard luck. Few, because this is what happened to my client. This thing was stressing him. Mm -hmm. It was stressing him. And then I could not know what to do now because I had to come in now, do even other things that I was not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It was stressing him. He ended up in hospital many times. And then he passed on. Mm -hmm. But at least he had received a million. The other two million, mm -hmm. the wife got it. So it's not a question that uh, it, 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 this is this is this is happening for the first time in my case. So I wanted to put the record straight. It has happened before. And let me tell you, to be fair enough, uh, this is what I did. I yesterday I posted my interview with um, Brian Carriza, the actuarian of GPF. I posted it on social media so that people can be able to see. Because he explained it very well there. Because it's important for people to understand that when they have problems, what to do, what is the next step? 
So I wanted to share that information with you. And then I had a very nice interview with uh, Advocate Makado, who's uh, uh, the ombud. And I knew I could uh, exercise the option of going to him. But, uh, you know, the, the whole thing that it's an, you, have, you have to wait for another two months for him to, to, to come up with a recommendation whether it will be implemented or not. So there's nothing that we can do. The only thing that we can do is to do what we are doing now. Talk about your experience, share it with the world mm -hmm. out there. All right. And then mm -hmm. I must come out clear. I don't blame anyone because I don't know where the mistake lies. Whether it has it lies with the department or GPF, I don't know. But mm -hmm. in your case, I know on your side I've done what, the, what I'm supposed to do. All right. So to get it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the story. And then I also have Mr. Ngobeni, who wants to join me here, who wants also to share his experience and, and so on. So yeah, that's the story that I wanted to share, Mr. Siale. Uh, maybe you can wait and then and, and, and listen to Dr. Ngobeni uh, when he comes in. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So that that's, that's the the history that I have. So it's not that, uh, um, you know, uh, it's happening for the first time. But uh, you know what? Let's let's cross our fingers. Um, on the third, it will be resolved. But unfortunately, I'll post it before the third. I'll announce mm -hmm. when am I going to, to post this. And then, uh, because yeah. I don't want to sit on, on, on my laurels, because I'll sit on my laurels only to find uh, you know, um, I had hoped that it would be done. The next thing is another battle. I will believe when I see it. All right. And then I'll come back and give people feedback on this platform again to say, okay, we got the money. And when was the money? And uh, which is a little bit unfair to you now uh, to tell people that you got the money because it exposes you. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't uh, say it, we got the money. Maybe to say the matter was resolved and leave it at that. Um, yeah, but um, it's a little bit unfair, you know, so that for us to take this route. And uh, the reason why I was giving that story, I wanted uh, uh, people to understand that I'm not just doing it out of malice. Uh, I've done it before. Uh, I can see that Mr. Ngoben is struggling to connect. But nevertheless, what I will do is um, I will end my discussion with you and then engage Mr. Ngobene and see uh, whether I can engage him. Maybe he wants to share his experience. And that is your, 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 your ending. Let me ask this one before I go. Did I force you to do this, this interview? No. No, no, Mr. Chowell. Be honest. Did I force you? I'm honest. Okay. You didn't, you didn't force me to do this interview. You wanted to do it? Yes. Okay, because you feel the pinch, isn't it? I feel the pinch. And here comes January, I must pay school fees and the university registrations. No man. Mm -hmm. But at least your children, they will see that uh, uh, you are talking, we are telling them the truth, that you didn't receive yes. the money. Because me as a financial yes. advisor, now I'm talking to you now, uh, they've seen so it's real it's not that you are lying um let's end our discussion thanks for coming in uh do you want to bid the the viewers farewell or do you want to say something as the last word to to them yeah, thank you thank you very much all right okay thank you thank you thank you as I've already indicated to you that uh, um, I also have another uh, client of mine, a member of GPF, uh, who was trying to connect, but unfortunately, uh, there were issues with uh, connectivity. But finally, he has managed to connect. Uh, I'm going to allow him to introduce himself so that uh, you know that who are you talking to. Uh, Baba, could you kindly introduce yourself to Bani? Use your official names, and then uh, after you've introduced yourself, so that we can get started. 
I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, you have been, you have just resigned, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and we have requested your money to be transferred, just like the previous speaker, which is Mr. Siale, your colleague, of course. Yes. And yes. then uh, to be transferred to Alan Gray. Uh, as I yes. speak to you now, the money has not been transferred. And I've already indicated to Mr. Siale that uh, they, they promised that on the third, they're opening, they will attend to the matters. Um, so we'll watch the space. Uh, but we go ahead with our interview. That's the best thing that we can do. Uh, you know, to let the public know, and this is not for the first time that I deal with these issues. And then uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people who are in your same in your position on your on the same position where you are. But unfortunately, you know, they are helpless. They don't know what to do. You know, and then uh, so yeah. And uh, get me clear, Mr. Ngobeni. I'm not blaming correctional service. I'm not blaming NGPF. I don't know who did the mistake, all right? Now, as yes. I explained to Mr. Siali, there are three parties involved. Is you as a member, the, co uh, the correctional service, which is your department, and GPF. Well, GPF, by extension, they also have GPAA, which is their administrative wing, all right? So all those parties yes. are involved. Anyone can delay the process. Now, let me start here. How long you have been working for the department? 33 years. 33 years. Yes. Let me ask this interesting question. Have the department found you guilty of anything? Nothing at all. Nothing. So you, you can I... describe yourself as a person who has been loyal to the department? Yes, exactly. Okay. I've been loyal for all these years. Okay. And then you can also describe a path yourself as a person who has been loyal to your pension fund, which is GPF. You have been paying. Yes, I've been paying. So there was no stage where they said, no, you have been paid and all that. Not at all. So that 33 years, we have GPF. Yes. All right. Yes. Let me get it clear. 33 years in service. When did you leave the department? When did you resign? Like, when was your last day? When was your last day at the department? When was your last income? My last income was on the 15th September 2022. And I left the Department of Correctional Service on the 30th of September 2022. So your and last, after that, I never received any income. Your last income was the 15th of September. Yes, correct. Now, 15th of September, uh, 15 October, 15 November, 15 December, three years, ne? Yes. Now, let me ask this one. I know sometimes uh, legal issues like divorce and all that, uh, do delay process. Was any other issue related to that? Did you have any divorce? Did you submit all the necessary documents? What happened? Just relate. What happened? No, I uh, never divorced. Uh, I'm still married. I don't know what's the process. Why is it such a delay? I don't understand why. But let's be fair enough. At some point, I know you went to court because there was somebody who was challenging the, 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 your, your pension, am I right? Yes. Okay, so what happened? You gave them every record. Did you go there to the court? You, you Did you appear? I did appear, and all the documents they required were emailed to GPF as requested, as requested on the 16th of November, yes. 16th November, you went to court? Yes. You appeared in which court, by the way? Mbombela. Uh, Mbombela Magistrate Court. Yes. So everything was submitted. Now let me ask this other, this other question again. On your side, were all the forms submitted correctly in terms of yes. ID documents, 
in terms of the right forms? Was everything submitted, including the request for transfer, of which it was done by me in any way? So I'm asking exactly. you. All right. Yes. Everything was done. Was... All right. Now tell me your experience. You have not been any since September. I know as much as you know, uh, you know, we are living month to month. If I don't get the salary, you know, that three months on its own is, is tough. Uh, if I don't get the salary, uh, it, it, it's a challenge on its own. How did you survive? What's happening? What's happening in your life, your financial position? Are you still having your policies? Uh, are, you, are you paying your bond? What's happening? How is your family viewing you? Are they happy or they are angry? They think you lie and all that. Just tell me. Let me allow you to My speak. Look, I've been not getting solar. I'm struggling to buy food. I'm struggling to pay my creditors. I'm struggling to pay my bond. I'm threatened by everyone left, right, and center. I'm frustrated. I'm stressed. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know exactly what to do. Mm. Christmas has passed. I didn't have anything. This was a, a real, real black Christmas for me and my family. Mm, mm, mm. Now, let me ask this. And I can't... Yes. Let me ask this. I know that I contacted GPF. You yourself, did you contact GPF? Or you were relying on me since, remember, I, I'm your financial advice. You gave me the power of attorney. Remember, I rely on you since I gave you the power of attorney. Okay. You cannot contact GPF and then I contact GPF. It will look like I don't trust you. Okay. But because okay. I've written uh, the power of attorney, I've signed it, everything's in your hands. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. And for information, I've been contacting GPF from time to time and ask how far is this process? How far is this process? Do you understand? And then uh, ultimately, I had to resort to what we are doing now. And then uh, I've already explained in the previous uh, uh, discussion or interview that it, this is not for the first time, you know. And I'm sure a lot of people are, are you know, you know, in, 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 in the same position, you know. It's unfortunate people, they don't know what to do, you know. Of course, we are all vulnerable. We don't have powers. We are weak. Who are we? GBF is a giant. Your cultural service is a big institution. They are big, these people. All right, but uh, that's it. The only thing that I can do, I can allow you to share your experience, uh, how your experience has been, uh, so that even at home they trust you because probably they don't trust you anymore. They think that was Limadi. Am I right? Correct. <laughs> because I've been telling them one thing, one thing, but they no longer uh, trust me because. I've been telling them that money will come, money will come, but at the end, it doesn't come. Mm, mm, mm. At the end of the day, it looks like uh, you are lying. Um, and I'm your a lie. Yeah, uh, your creditors, if you talk to them, what are they saying? Do they understand or what? They don't understand. They want the money. Okay, let me ask this one. Have you asked people money from people like Mashonisas? individual people, because it doesn't matter. As long as you borrowed money, for me, it's a machonisa. It depends on when you borrow money for what. If I explain machonisa in many people, I say machonisa is the intention. If I borrow money for survival, if I borrow money for living expense, that's machonisa for me. Because it pulls me down. It doesn't take me anywhere. Have you borrowed money from other mm -hmm. people? I've, I've borrowed, borrowed money. money. Mm. I don't know where to borrow now because everyone has borrowed me money to, so that I can survive with my family. Mm. But now I don't know what to do. The last question, Mr. Ngobene. Did I force you to do this interview or you wanted to do it? I really I wanted know. to do it so that I might get the attention I because I need that money. Really, really, I need it. Mm. So that I can live like any other person. Because I've been not getting salary for three months now. So I did not force you. 
no, you never force me. Okay. Singobeni, thank you very much. Wish you good luck. Like I said to Siale, when I spoke to GBF, they said on the 3rd of Jan, they're opening. And then uh, the matter will be attended. All right. But unfortunately, we'll, we are going to post this thing on social media, on our YouTube channel, uh, just prior to that date. Um, we'll believe it when we see it. So for now, we'll, we'll wait and see. That's the attitude that we're going to take. All right. Okay. Yeah, you know the issue of the ombuds, uh, but I did explain yeah. to you that I could not go that route because the ombudsman yeah. is going to give me another 60 days. And I wonder in 60 days, where will you be? I'm not no. saying it should not be followed, you know, uh, but uh, yeah. you know what? 60 days, working days, I'm thinking about the person here, survival. I cannot survive myself if I don't get a uh, payment a month. You know, I must get my payment. Thank you very much. Just bid the viewers farewell. Thank you, bye.